in this video, we're going to continue to learn um, the continuous time markup chain. And uh, um, this time we're going to learn a special example called the birth and death process. Um, but before that, let's first review uh, for a continuous markup chain. It ha has two components. Uh, the first one is the underlying discrete uh, markup chain. We can uh, simply uh, define um, the discrete markup chain as follows. So last time we learned, um, we just used some uh, intuitive argument. But we can formally define this uh, discrete uh, markup chain x sub n as, and this x right here means the continuous markup chain, and uh, uh, we just use uh, this uh, little t right here, tn, and we say uh, we add a plus here, so which is uh, uh, the limb from the right hand side of the T. Okay, and we can see that um, this one, okay, so essentially what happens is the X sub N is the underlying. Uh, discrete markup chain which keeps track the state changes uh, after each transition okay all right and where we define this tn is um, the time um, after or say the time of uh, the nth transition. Okay, so this is our first component. The second component is um, the holding time. We'll say um, how often does. Um, this x of t uh, leaves state i. And this we know that um, normally we assume uh, this one as uh, an exponential uh, distribution, which is uh, Of this rate uh, b sub i, okay. Um, and normally, um, if we talk about uh, transition probabilities, we mean to say this underlying discrete uh, Markov chain's transition probability p i j, okay. With um, this setup, we can define uh, our birth and death uh, process. So first, this is our setting. So we have some sort of a system. And uh, um, the system is, uh, say, uh, it has certain population in it. And we can think about, uh, we have certain uh, Q. So, uh, for example, if we go to the bank and there the counter, and uh, normally we just enter a queue um, and wait for the next available clerk. So, and let's say um, now we say there are then individuals. Uh, in the system, and uh, um, we have 
arrivals and departures. All right. And for the arrivals, um, like uh, basically people are coming to the bank at a rate of uh, lambda n. And of course, when we say rate, we mean this is uh, an exponential distribution uh, with rate lambda n. So um, let's say this is exponential distributed with rate lambda n, which means its average is um, 1 over lambda n. And the departures is of rate uh, mu n. And of course, this is also exponentially uh, distributed. Um, think about in the bank, so whenever someone um, gets the service from a bank and after he finishes his uh, service and uh, he'll leave the bank and then this is a departure. And I want to emphasize um, these uh, two, the arrival rate and the departure rate, and of course the random variable which represent Arrivals and departures, they are uh, independent. All right. And first of all, then we have this uh, arrival rate, which runs from n uh, from 0 to infinity. Uh, this is, uh, I'll say, a birth rate. And then we have another uh, infinite sequence, which is mu n, that represents departure rate. Oops. Which is also, uh, we name it death rate. What happens is, uh, um, let me use uh, this uh, Q as this example, a typical uh, birth and uh, death process. Think about this is time. And when uh, initially at zero, we have x zero is zero, all right? And after some time, and after some time, and let's say this time is uh, uh, t1 is uh, the first time um, this uh, markup chain changes state and this becomes one. Basically this is like our first customer uh, coming into let's say in the line and then apparently uh, we have may, we may have something uh, here all right. Uh, we have a second customer coming into the line. This is T2. And now XT2 becomes 2. And the first cost customer who um, entered the service after maybe say some time, uh, the service time, of a customer of the first customer and right here the first customer leaves uh, this queue and this is T3 which is uh, the third time uh, this uh, markup chain changes state then at this T3 it becomes one again so there is a one only one uh, person in in the system and maybe say um, if there is no arrival and after the service uh, time of the second customer and this is T4 and then after some time 
uh, this system that there, there is a zero uh, customer in the system and we may have a new arrival for example if there is a new arrival which is our third customer then uh, I mean this continuous markup chain enters the state of one again okay so um, let me write down the formal definition um, we have x of t and x of t is um, number of individuals in the system and the state space uh, is of course 0, 1, 2 uh, all the positive uh, integer so in next video we're gonna uh, derive the transition probability of the sub-width and death process.